another day, another port. This time we had to tend her in. Where in the world are we? We are currently in Villefranche, France. Um, but we're not going to stay here. We're going to go on another adventure. What do you think? Yeah, I think maybe we should head to another country. Okay. All right, let's go. Meet us there. Well, after a quick 14 minute train ride. Mm, was it really 14 though? Because there were a lot of delays. It was not so quick. It took us probably about an hour to get here, right? Yeah, and it was very crowded. It was like riding the subway in New York City. Of course, actually. But we have arrived in another country. Where in the world are we? We are in Monte Carlo in Monaco. And you can see behind us some of the like classic Monaco architecture, mostly Venetian kind of style. And then uh, some of the newer stuff looks like maybe they threw it up in a hurry when they got really popular and had to all of a sudden have a lot of accommodations, a lot of hotels, those kind of things. But the really cool stuff is like the stuff behind us. Yeah. We didn't really do any research and we don't have much of a plan for the day. And since we only have a few hours where we really need to catch the train back so we can get back on the ship, we are just gonna kind of wander around and see what we can find. In exploring the city, we came across these really cool Japanese gardens. These are Princess Grace's Japanese gardens. Um, if you're not familiar, Princess Grace was actually an American actress, TV and film actress. Well, film actress, not TV. Um, and she married the Prince of Monaco, Prince Rainier. And so uh, she lived here as the princess for a very long time. Died tragically, I think in the 80s in a car accident. Um, but this park was either named after her, I, I believe she spent some time here too. These are the Japanese gardens that were built around it. Um, really, really pretty. So if you get a chance to do that, do it. Um, can't tell you exactly how to get here. Just follow the coastline and you'll come across it basically. Um, of course, Monaco is really famous for its casinos. That's not really our thing. So we're just kind of wandering around trying to find things to do in Monte Carlo that don't involve the casinos. And that's how we happen upon this. So let's see what else we can find.
besides being known for its casinos, Monaco, Monte Carlo is also known for its beaches. We took a walk down there and there was something unusual we discovered about this particular beach. So this beach right here, uh, you might think looks kind of like a Caribbean beach because of the color of it, but it's actually, this is the weirdest thing ever. This is a man-made beach. So this is gravel, like man-made gravel that's brought in here. And it's that particular sand color and it's spread all the way out to where you see the light blue so that it makes the, the, um, the water the color of the Caribbean beaches. But this gravel is a beast, y'all. Like I tried walking in it with my shoes. I sunk down in, I took my shoes off. I sunk down in even further. I stepped into the water. Not only is it gravel on the bottom, but it was freezing cold. So this is not the beach for me, but it might be something for you to check out. Very beautiful though. Yeah. We are back from Monaco. We came back on the train. It was much smoother on the way back than it was on the way out. No delays. Everything worked as, as planned and all that good stuff. Uh, we had a quick lunch of amazing pizza. Um, a lot of the, the foods along this part of the, the harbor are kind of a fusion of Italian and French, Mediterranean, those kind of things. Lots of seafood. I had a vegetable pizza that was really delicious. Jeff had a margarita pizza. Um, he had a beer. I had a water and it was what 47 euros, right? Total. So um, that was kind of our big meal for the day. And then we stopped and bought a couple little souvenirs just at little shops along the way. Um, but now, you know, just in case you didn't think I've already climbed enough stairs for the day, Jeff has a plan for me. Look behind me, this is ridiculous. I gotta stop this man.
decided to wrap up our rather short stay here in the port with a walk along the waterfront. Behind us is the old wall to the city. It's been here, I don't know, we didn't look up the history on this place, but must be for hundreds if not thousands of years. Uh, one thing we didn't mention early on is that this port right here is literally the next harbor over from the city of Nice in France. We decided not to head over that direction where a lot of people from the ship were going just because we plan on being back in the south of France next year. And we're so close to Monaco, we told you earlier, it's just a 14 minute train ride to get over there. Just we wanted to take the opportunity, you know, hopefully we'll have another chance to go to Monaco someday, but weren't really sure. So wanted to check that one off of our bucket list. So all that being said, What'd you think of the two different countries we visited today? Yeah, so this uh, this little port city, this is really adorable. This is actually the first time our ship has ever been here. So our ship has never come to this on an excursion up until today. Uh, they told us that when we were asking about excursions at the desk. Um, it started a little bit rocky because we had to tender. And if you don't know what that is, um, it's when the, the harbor is too shallow for your ship to actually come into a pier. So it has to dock out in the ocean and then smaller ships actually have to um, bring you back and forth from ship to shore. There's a little bit of an issue with some scheduling and some communication and those kind of things this morning that put us a little bit behind first thing. And then of course that led to us missing the first train that probably would have been the better one to take. And then we had to wait for two more because uh, one was delayed and that one was full and then we had to have another one. So we had a little bit of just kind of a delayed start this morning. But after that, it was pretty smooth sailing from there Definitely. Um, I will say Monaco absolutely or you know uh, Monte Carlo really the city of Monte Carlo is definitely walkable but be aware that you are going up and down up and down up and down all day long yeah. um, tons of switchbacks sometimes you have to go down to go back up lots of places there are stairs built in but not everywhere so some places you just have to kind of hope for the best with sidewalks and streets and those kind of things um, but it seems like a really great city a little on the expensive side as you would imagine that it is we actually didn't do any shopping or eating there it's just not a long time of day for us to do those couple of things there that's why we waited till we got back here uh, this is a really really cute little port city so if you have an opportunity ever to kind of hang out here i would say go ahead and do that you can just kind of stop around have a drink just do lunch or eat dinner do a little bit of souvenir shopping and those sorts of things and um, maybe learn a little bit of history. Um, in both of these places, um, we had a little bit of a problem getting reception on both of our lines actually. So we have T-Mobile at home, which is supposed to work here. And we also have an eSIM um, through Aerolo that, that works in like 30 countries in Europe, including this, but it really is giving us a little bit it was of a kind of kind sketchy, today. Right. Yeah, so um, Google Maps wasn't really loading right, so we were depending a lot more on signage and those kind of things that we usually do. Um, and just, uh, we were unable to get the history and, you know, kind of on the fly, we'd come across something and be like, oh, what is this? But we really couldn't do the research right. that we usually do to find out what those things are. Yeah, because big surprise, pretty much everything we tell you is something we learn from the internet. Imagine that. <laughs> All right, well, that about wraps it up. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're going to see, if you want to see where we're going to go next.